Hey guys, this is Brian Sykes. I uh, wanted to show you something really fast. Uh, my friend Victor Wendt had this post that's actually really quite good. Uh, but if you're an English speaker and English is your only language, you might be stuck uh, being able to do anything with it. So you can see uh, there's C translation, which is great for the copy that's here. And it's how to create attention grabbing headlines. And there's some really good information inside of there. But if you can't read it, then it's not going to do you any good. I want to show you two things you can do really fast that makes this uh, accessible. First, any type of document that's inside of InDesign as a multi-slide document means it's a PDF. If I click on the bottom right corner of this file, it's going to open up in full screen. And I can actually go up here to the top right corner. See that little arrow uh, with the pointing down is going to give me an option where I can download this file. Clicking on this, it's going to open up the PDF, and there we go. Now, this is still not on my machine. It's just temporarily there. Uh, we'll need to, again, click on this, download this file, and you see I've already done that, and it's right there. Okay, so that's great. What else? Well, let me show you something. If you go to your browser and you click in Google Translate, now the first thing that's going to pop up is this detect language, and this is where you can copy-paste text that's already created, but what if you've got a PDF file? Well, here's the cool thing. Under Google Translate, the next line available, you'll see Translate Documents and Websites. So I can select that, and then it kind of scrolls down through, and there's some other options. In your browser, go to Google Translate, and we're going to choose Documents, and drag and drop. I can literally grab this PDF and drop it there. And it's going to detect language, and in this case, I'm going to English, so I'm going to choose Translate. So it's done a translation for us, and I can click on Download Translation, and it's called LinkedIn Hooks by the same name, and I'm going to open this file. Now, the challenge with this is the image shows up as a, an image-based file, so you're, you're kind of seeing a little complication here with the translation. Um, it flattened the document down as a PDF, and so what's happening is it's got the translation, but it's kind of in the background. It's not clean, okay? So we're, we're not able to see this. Okay, so sometimes whenever you're trying to translate a document, it can get a little screwy and be kind of crazy. So we were seeing the jumbled, <laughs> the jumbled up mess that it was creating from the PDF, but there's another way to approach this. What I did is I opened the PDF and I exported all the images. And so what I'm seeing here are all the different images from the individual PDF. So now I have 21 pages. I can go to Google Translate and click on images and I can drop in this page and it'll say translating and there you go. It's in perfect English. It actually replaces everything just as it was. I can download that translation and I can go to the next. There we go. Okay, so this is a process by which I'm able to create uh, individual pages that I can then put back together into a PDF and have this file. This is kind of a long, time-consuming process and much easier just to touch base with Victor and say, hey, could you translate this to English for me? And it'd be fairly easy for him. But there's ways that you can get around things if you're trying to get to a finished result. So here's a way that I was able to take a file that's in a different language and using the tools that are available, I'm able to translate it. Now, here's the cool thing. I could take this entire PDF, drop it into ChatGPT, and have a conversation with it. Let me show you. I'm uploading my file to ChatGPT. So I've uploaded the PDF, and I said the following document is not in English. Can you provide a breakdown in English of all the key points? And you'll see that what it's doing, it's going to break it down for me and give me uh, something of use. So there we go. Don't get stuck with the idea I can't take it any further. So initially when I started this process, it was supposed to be a simple translation, which I've worked with before. I've taken English to multiple languages because I've been able to take my book that I've created and turn it into Spanish, French, Portuguese, uh, etc., just using Google Translate. That's a great feature. But here's a case where I'm trying to translate from another language into English, and it was giving me garbledly gook. So here's the process by which I was able to get around that in two different ways. One is by taking the PDF, bring it into individual images or JPEGs or PNGs, use that into Google Translate and translating one page at a time. That's not very effective when you've got multiple pages. The other is actually go to ChatGPT, 
download the PDF into the document and have a conversation with it, have it summarize for you what's in the contents. Again, this is Brian Sykes. Hopefully this is a help.